Stadium Hall. It's a game between the tournament host uh, Team Lynx. I hope there's a lot of Estonian watching them. And they're against uh, the Latvian girl team called the Ultimix. So there are a bunch of players from Sirocco, uh, Ventspils. Manly Ventspils, I guess. Manly Ventspils, yeah. They have a pretty young team. And on the other side, the uh, Lynx are more experienced, definitely. Yeah, definitely. So let's see how that one goes. Lynx already taking the field. Actually, there's a Latvian girl playing for Team Lynx. It's Santa Sinica. She actually uh, studied here in Tallinn University. So let's see, I think uh, Link starts with an offense. Looks like that. Looks like there's oh, there is I believe this is the first game for both of the teams. So let's see. Arafieva, that's a great pull. I think it it comes oh, back red. It's Rain Salu. Finds Lisa. Will there be a hug? No. Crystal Lins a plan. And that's a throw into the end zone. And it goes out of bounds. Unfortunately. Yeah, Rain Amagi was there, but the throw was a little bit too, too out. Yeah, she had no chance. So it's a uh, first opportunity, opportunity for Ultimix. Arafieva will pick up the disc. Yeah, it went. Points that it went out uh, a little bit further. Yeah, it quite early left the field. Finds the swing. It's lost down. Oh, oh, and that's the first draw for Ultimix too. A little bit too high for Rasa. Now Lisa Licht finds Christ Rensalu, almost in the end zone. It's Crystal Lins. Ooh, cheeky little pass to number 31. Who's nice, that? Nice little fake and then. Yeah, that was kind of patient for for Lynx. They didn't strike it in the end zone right, yeah. right down. You see, great cut by Karin Nurmes. Yeah, both teams exchange with a little mistake. Eventually, Lynx scores this one. So it's Sinitsa on the field, the Latvian player. She's actually one of the best Latvian players out there. Rainsolo with the pull. Oh, that's a nice pull. Yes, Nita's is almost there. No option so far. Nice undercut. Harafieva. Number 23 with the disc. That's a great pressure from Team Lynx. Oh, will she put it deep? Nope. Solonenko. They're actually a little bit struggling. But still. Mikulica now with the disc. Yeah, Mikulica. Oh, she puts it deep. And that's a nice put. Yeah. Actually, I didn't didn't see which. Looks like they're forcing a flick. Yeah, and Solyanka with the score, right? Number yeah, it's Solyanka. Yeah, she was unguarded. It's Caroline Linz. A little bit off, off in the defense. So the Ultimix team scores two. It's one to one. So number six with the pull, Christine Lazdana. That's a great pull, I think. Man in. Right. Yeah, right. That's a perfect. Right in the end. You can't make it even better. Is no, it Teku? So oh, That's a hammer, two wins. She's open. Yeah, and that's a nice throw. Yeah, actually this was a pretty good offense. I think Lynx had like 
two options before that to throw deep. So they de definitely have options and they're they're even patient on them. Yeah, that's good. that's great thing to not rush of the start of yeah. the game. You have to feel confident and then you can hack it. But yeah, that was a good offense. Our plan cuts. They're using a lot of space in the field. That gives them gives them a lot of space. So it's a uh, rain solo with the pull. That's a high floaty pull. Yeah, that's a floaty one. Right on the end zone line. Vertical stack from Ultimix. Runberger with the disc. Finds Mikulica. Solonenko. Nice upline movement so far. Yeah, it's going good. Looking for Dampman now. Oh, great mark by Sinica, but even better cut by Mikulica. And again, upline. That's a great inside break by Mikulic again. And Rumberger too, working really hard. I, I think it's the fourth or third time she touching the disc at this point. Arafieva. Rasa. Ooh, that's a great throw. Nice inside back. Yeah, end. it was pretty easy. That was pretty smooth often from, from uh, yeah, the defense Yeah, They team worked it down patiently. All the all the field down. So yeah, it's two to two. I think probably the favorites of this matchup is uh, Team Lynx. Yeah, I thought that too, but uh, all right now I'm actually not sure. Yeah, they're wo they're playing point to point, head to head. Let's see, will the youth bring down the experience? experience yeah, I think that's the matchup here. Yeah, that's always awesome to watch these kind of matchups. And again, yeah. Lynx have options deep, but they're yeah, not, they were not using them right away. Yeah, there were two, two girls running deep, unguarded rain solo. She actually needs to be guarded. She's a dangerous player. Can use her height and her good throws. Yes, but Ultimix is not putting pressure on handlers, so they're, they feel, I think, pretty comfortable playing this way. And a pass to Crystal applying, as I said, Rain Solo with a good find. It seems to be that uh, both uh, teams actually not guarding uh, good enough the cutters because yeah. it, they, uh, it always uh, looks like both teams are afraid of uh, deep throws. Yeah, and they're just letting uh, letting the undercuts go. So it's Lisa Licht with the pull, number eight. And will it come back? Uh, no, I don't think. Out. Yeah, it's it's out of bounds. So Mikulicha starting from the big brick mark. Guarded by Sinica and Ulti, Ultimix with the vertical stack. Yeah, let's see if they have a set up a set play. And that's a hack to Rasa. Can she track it down? That's a great read, yeah. yeah great read on this there. Yeah, sure. She it didn't even need to jump for that. <laughs> yeah, Mycroft actually, 24, was uh, guarding uh, her like an under, undercut player. Because uh, if uh, I think if you're the last, you have the last yeah, you man in the stack, you have to come from behind and guard the deep hook. Yeah, you need to talk with your teammates yeah. for, for guarding the front of the stack. Yeah, actually, uh, some of Ventspil's guys, players, tell that hook it, hook it. Ross is free in the end zone, where she was free. The throw was a little bit floaty, but she used her body position quite well. So the score is 3-3. Three three. Let me create with the pool. Let's see if Lynx can reply with a patient, smooth offense, as they did the first three points. Oh, there's a little body bump, but no. And that's a, oh, another, oh, and that's a drop. Chance for Ultimix. To break. If they could keep on the patient offense here, that would be really good for them. Yeah, let's, that's let's see what they what they're gonna do. Ooh, Rasa. 
a little bit in traffic. Ooh, finds a... Rachitska. Rachitska with a disc. Rachitska, yeah. Mikulica passes it to Rasa again. The same Ooh. connection and she yeah. catches it with one hand. And that's a break for Ultimix. Yeah. Yeah, the first time. Youth breaks over experienced links players. Unfortunate drop by who that was, I that think. Was that, that was, uh, Number eight, 19. Okay. Maya Reynomagi, yeah. Maybe do hands a little bit cold still in this <laughs> cold hall. I believe it's not more than 15 or 10 degrees here. Yeah, it's really, really not cool if you're not warm. Yeah, you probably see on the sideline everybody has a jacket or a oh, teacup. Or yeah. Or yeah, teacup. So Samiete, we haven't said her name so far in this game, it's 3 to 4. Now she makes a beautiful pull. I think it's perfect. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. Right, floats right to the end zone. And Darafieva chases down Reinsalu. That's a nice handle moment by Links. And that's a Haku huck. Puts it deep and that's Ooh, a little short. That's a great defense by Darafieva. Yeah, great, great heads up play. Yeah, the throw was a little bit off. I think it was it wasn't that good. Lazdana finds Samiete to Rasa, guarded by Sinica. That's a deep hook. To put it deep. It's floating. Ooh, can she keep it in? Yeah, yes. that's in. Arafieva, right on the corner, one step away from. Ooh, that's a great tip. Tip uh, toe in dip, by Lazdan. Dip, dipped it in two times in a row. <laughs> yeah. Almost. Awesome. So Ultimix actually break again. It's they're up by two points. Vanspils and Sirocco guys are happy for them. Yeah, Giving high they, fives they, to the girls. They look pumped right now. Yeah, I mean, as a young team, it's always good to get this early lead and early breaks. Yeah, just early get, confidence. Just get, get your emotions up. But for Team Lynx, it's on uh, there have sh a little bit shook down. I, I don't know what, what's wrong to them. Let's see if they can get a point, finally. Well, and that's a hack. Oh, that's a nice... Ooh, nice to Crystal, throw. that's a perfect throw. Damn. She didn't hesitate in there. A second, she just runs out to the stack and just see in the replay, and she deep. just hucks it. Awesome! And Crystal completely free, I think. Solnyenko was only three, three meters or four away from her. Yeah, Blaze Alex is such a great Estonian ha handler. That's a great way to get some confidence back. Yeah, with a deep hug. But they don't seem to cheer that much. <laughs> so the score is 5-4. to four. Ultimix with an offense. They're up by one point. That's a great pull by Reinsulu. Sinica is right the there. The defenders are right there. It's a nice pressure. Rumberga to Mikulica. No one's open. Links. Yeah. There's... Ooh, that's a high stall That's down. a hack. Ooh. Karteku. Was not that close. And free up line, Samieta. Completely Ooh, free. Oh, almost. Almost. She, she had it, but she. Yeah. The throw had to be a little bit slower. Yeah. She was that free. You could throw anything. But she almost had it. Ooh, that's a hack to Sinica. Ooh, can she get it? Oh, that's too far. Oh. Unfortunately. Yeah. I think one more meter and she would just lay out. Go, she go for that. Yeah, she's the girl who lays out. Whenever she can, like when, not whenever she can, but she, when she has to lay out. Equality with the disc. No dump options. Ooh, Ooh Samita in traffic. That's yeah, a great no, D. No foul. And, and Sinica, yeah, they get it back right away. Yeah, about the hook, I think you could throw it a little bit higher because Sinica is just proven that she can jump really high and use her position.
She was actually the MVP of uh, Latvian uh, Frisbee League 2017-18, where actually Lynx was playing too indoors in Latvia. Uh, I think she had about six points per game or something like that. Yeah, that's insane. And even more, even more Ds. So it's five to five. Lynx have got back their Ds. It's a great pull by Kristel. Arafieva finds it. Ooh, Ooh, that's another D. It's a little bit late throw. And it's Crystal and yeah, links and again. Just, just like that, uh, links are now in yeah. the game. Ultimix with two breaks and links answer with the same thing. They just were down t two points, and now they're uh, back up by one. It's actually interesting for us viewers and commentators to watch these kind of games and the supporters from sideline. Yeah, I hope a lot of Estonians are watching. If you're not here, looks like you're not, because it's really hard, hard cold in here. That's okay, we have some tea and so more the clothes. It's actually a good pull. Ultimix back in their end zone, out of Yeva. Great pressure, the links right on. Oh, and Summit goes deep. Will it be good this time? Mm. Oh, nice bit there. I think... But again, again, clearly yeah, too far. I don't know why Mikulic uh, cho chose to throw that high arcing yeah, blade. Really it's, so hard, it's so hard to catch that. She had to put a flat. I mean, if it's accurate, it's okay. But yeah, uh, it was too far. And uh, Lynx, chance to go up by two points. And that, that's a deep hook available. But no, she, d she decides to swing it. It's nice. an upline to Lisa. Oh and that's a great put to Clara Teku. And Link score again. They had this throw. Opportunity. opportunity. Yeah, a few times again. Yeah. Right, take one, two, one, two. But now Links look pretty comfortable. Their hands have warm, warmed up. No it looks like they have found a way how to score. Yeah. No more unfortunate it, it, drops. It's worked for them and uh, go to Mix. Looks like he isn't changing anything in defense. Yeah, so it's 7 to 5. Crystal with the pool. She's also organizer of the tournament. So shout yeah. Out, shout out to her for, for doing this. Yeah. Every year, Salzburg's team, the men's team, comes here and enjoy this this tournament really much oh that's a high pressure nowhere to throw oh, and that's a Callahan. Oh, Callahan. Oh, wait wait there's a call I think there's, there's a call, call on a throw. yeah I oh. think she's calling the fall I don't think it quite affected the play let's see in the there replay no Oof, definitely no head signs so we can tell yeah. really that's why I always use the ha hand sign. Yeah. So commentators and the players. And the players in the field, yeah. On the field, everybody can understand what's happening. That's why they are invented. But you saw in the replay, Rundberg definitely slowed down, so it was an easy Callahan for yeah. Lisa Licht. I don't know what affected the throw. I mean, that's what happens when you have a great pull and uh, yeah, when everybody and right just on great pressure on, on defense. Yeah, it's actually a pretty close stack by uh, Ultimix. So it's pretty hard to get a free space to get a and it's it's it's, it's, it's a Callahan yeah, yeah. it's all that, that's awesome play for team links they were just down by two points now they're up by three points well and they must be hyped about this Callahan that's experience if I have someone yeah ultimate uh, ultimate ultimix a little bit that uh, heads down let's see if they make, can make a Another point. Rains a little bit the pull. Oh, Floaty, but a little bit too short. Yeah, it's a little bit too short. But still, uh, let them set up the defense. Mikulice finds Arafieva. 
to the cheat. Oh no, it's Bartolo. Uh, Bartolo. Sorry, yeah. They look the no, same from behind. Solinenko. <laughs> Rasa. Ooh, that's a blade in the short blade. Then she's just laughing it out. No, no problem. <laughs> no hard feeling. Yeah. But she said sorry. So. Rains a little bit of disc. Sinitsa tries to go deep. Ooh, oh, that's an unfortunate dro drop. She had nowhere to put the disc, so she hucked it. Again, it had to be a little bit floatier. Yeah, I mean, if, if you throw like, throws like that, if they are floaty, there is uh, still a chance someone will, will run down that. Oh, and it looks like there's a call. Oh, no, that's a clear defense by Sims. That's a, that's a great point block. So, Lynx sets up to two girls in end zone. Three handlers out. That's a classical end zone stack, if you can call it like that. Oh, and that's a nice D by Vikulicu. Rasa on the line. Sanders it to Arafieva. Vikulicu again. And Ross again, and he bubbles it. Oh, and nice, nice second effort. Only one girl in end zone right now, so no options there. Oh, and that's a missed catch on a dump. And Sin just strikes to end zone right away. And second attempt, and again Mikulicu with the D. Really great, two defenses on uh, Sinica. That's not ever, every girl can do, definitely. So she pick up, pick up the disc. And Rasa on the line. And my dear friend Arvid is back. So, and again mistakes. So, so far we had two turnovers. Yeah, well, I'm back after and a this moment. Is the third, if I'm counting right. Oh. Mikulicu made another D, so it's definitely interesting now. I actually really like the matchup uh, scenes against Mikulicu. Mikulicu, yeah. Mikulicu definitely has the height. Yeah, but I she, think she used <laughs> it in two times in a row oh, now. Awesome. So let's see if Sinica can uh, show her speed. Yeah, definitely. She's a little bit quicker. Again, Rainsalo picking up the disc. It's a vertical stack for Team Lynx. And that's a great break throw. Seems completely Ooh. open. And so back and strikes deep right away. Rainsalo, will she, she put it? Go. And she puts it. That's a little bit floaty Ooh. again. Oh, Ooh. and almost the third D in the same yeah. spot. I think she actually a little this bit misread it. This time she did. Let's see the replay. That's a great put by Rainsalo. really close. Let's see. And Mikulicu, oof, really close. She, she could have one step on the right, so she, she would be closer to Sinica. Yeah, it seems an, uh, a little bit funny that uh, Lynx actually not cheering that much for these points. I mean, those are group games. Yet. Yeah. But still, it's... You have uh, to leave <laughs> some emotions for uh, playoffs, you know? Yeah. But it's still, it's uh, you're getting warmer if you you're just uh, <laughs> giving high fives. You're hyped, you know. The bloodstream is flowing. Yeah. So again, Crystal with the pull. It's actually pretty awesome that uh, girl oh, girl players. <laughs> yeah, she didn't catch it. Is there going to be another Callahan? Pretty close. Was it. Again by Lisa. She bubbles it, but catches again. Samete finds her. Rachitska. Uh, back Samita. to Samieta. Will she hock it? Two yeah. Oh, Ooh, that's, that's a, really a that one. I think Rasa has the has position. Yeah. yeah, and she definitely gets it. She had the height and the position. Let's see the replay. Actually, Crystal didn't go. Yeah, she l got a little bit afraid of the Rasa coming over her. But that's actually a great spirit for not making the body contact on. Yeah, so far it looks like great spirit because uh, 
Before that, there was a point block from Sinica, and it looked kind of sketchy. Maybe that was a fault, but she just gave it away. Oh, awesome! Right on. So that's, that's yeah, actually that's what good I to see. what I started to say. It's awesome that the girl players are uh, showing those great pulls. Yeah. We had our first game, and uh, <laughs> almost 50% of the pulls were out of bounds. Like okay, this one. <laughs> like like this <laughs> one. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> as I as I said, the good are the the pulls are good. It goes yeah, it's out of bounds. Always happens. Like yeah. That, yeah. Rensselo shows that she will start from the brick mark or she goes no, to the sideline. No. It's a brick. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a brick. Oh, there's a miscommunication because. Okay. There's a little circle thing that shows the brick. I think direction. the the black marks on the sideline shows yeah, the, real, the real brick a little bit. Yeah. That cool. Finds Lisa oh, Licht. Reinsalo. again. Ooh, that's a great cut by Sinita. <laughs> Completely. Almost an ankle breaker for Lausdana. Let's see the replay. Can we see it? We ca can't see the cut, but you can see she's completely free of line. So the score is 10 to 6. Oh, I believe the time is over. Is it? Oh, uh, I don't know if the Paga Cup rule applies. They were definitely up by three, but there. I want to see some more scenes on. Uh, on, on, on Mikulice. Yeah, on Mikulice match. Yeah. Oh, looks like she's not. She's yeah, she's not on the field. Crystal will guard her. <laughs> or or no, that's no, a little zone. Yeah. That's a poach the Yeah. Like two, two, two men zone, I guess. There's no play. handlers. Nowhere to put the disc. Oh, she finds Samieta. Mikulica with the disc. Yeah, they Samieta have. Samieta shows that she wants it deep and she gets the pass, but that's too short and now. That's right into the hands of Rain Salu. Well, I guess this defense worked for a length. Yeah. It was just a bad decision by Mikulica. Ooh, Ooh, and, and now she gets throw. it back, yeah. Well, exchange of... I guess they'll put it back, yeah. back on again. Let's see, there's two handler defenders and two undercut defenders no, to no, break. They're playing man to man. Girl no, to girl to no it was a, it's a zone, look. See, in the end zone, uh, in the middle of the stack. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ooh, and Not that's a, ooh, another D for Ryan Solo. Reinomagi to Linz. And, ooh, that's too far for Karin Nurmes. Yeah, rushed a bit. There was a striking uh, uh, rain salu in the end zone. She was pretty free. This uh, Actually, this works pretty much all the time against un unexperienced teams when you put some kind of poachy D on them. So you kind of make them feel uncom un uncomfortable yeah. doing something new. Yeah, they have to adapt. Like, uh, as we see, they, they're... Uh, Putting pressure on uh, handlers, so they, they 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 have no no options on undercuts, so they need to swing it all the time. Oh, that's a great move. They're, they're doing it good so far. But as we see right like, now, there's no no options. It's Sonyenko, who finds uh, Bartula. and that's a throw to nobody. Yeah, unfortunate. Cut enormous. Ooh, that's, that's too that's far. That's too far, yeah. Ultimate should start to use more of the field. They need like a. They probably need a horizontal stack. Yeah, because horizontal stack, and some some of them should strike deep to stretch out the defenders. Yeah, because the vertical stack for a zony defense, it's the right thing they want. There, the, all the players are yeah, in one place. Yeah, that's a great timeout. Yeah. I hope they oh talk wait, something no, out. No, there's no, there's time no timeouts, yeah. yeah. So time the stall is probably minus two, so it's already stalling three. If the players know that. It's Bartola. If she didn't see, there was an undercut. Sameta with the disc, no one's deep. Nikolicho resets it. And she puts it right away Ooh, deep. Ooh, that's in into the net. 
So it's out of bounds right here on the cameras. You actually didn't see that. So Rental brings it right back to the line where it went out. Yeah, I believe they get this point, then the game's over. Oh, nice that's high backing. Oh, that's a great. That's a hammer to Queens. It was a nice bid. Yeah. From the score is the score is 11 to 6, and I think it's over. It should be. Should be game. Yeah. Yeah, and that's the game. So thank you everybody for watching. It was a pretty awesome game. Yeah, this was like a roller coaster in the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> the Ultimates were up by two points, and then just ton of events, and Lynx are winning up by five. So that's what experience does, I guess. Yeah, definitely stay tuned for more games here in Tallinn, Kick 2018. A lot of interesting games coming up. Yeah, best is, best is only coming. Yeah. Stay tuned. See you. Bye.